One of our favorite times on the show is when our friend Philippe Gouet from L'Actualité sits down and we get to pick his brain about all things political. Welcome Charter back. Bank. Yes. <laughs> okay, so lots to talk about. We're talking about the Charter, obviously, today. <clears throat> Interesting position. We were talking about that in the news. The liberals are taking a different approach to it. Uh, Fatima Ouda Pipe uh, took a, an interesting position on the charter. Explain to us a little bit what happened there and what the reaction was. Yeah, well, I mean, within the Liberal Party, Fatima Ouda Pipe has, has uh, sort of carved a niche out for herself as a, a kind of self styled expert on um, uh, Islamic radicalism and general, actually, religious radicalism. And so she's been pushing. Uh, a, a bill that she wrote herself uh, that, that, that is intended to, to sort of circumscribe um, religious radicalism in Quebec. Uh, so when she wasn't given that responsibility by Philippe Couillard, uh, she chafed a little bit under under the authority of, of other people inside the inside the party. And she made a, a pretty a, a big statement about the charters, saying yeah. what? Well, I mean, her statement about essentially the the big part of the statement is that she didn't ask permission to make it. So right. she wrote she wrote a letter uh, to uh, the the Canadian press saying that, that she would not that she did not support uh, Mac uh, um, uh, statement yeah. that that somebody that a, a woman wearing a shador would be would be acceptable to the party as a candidate. But we, this but, was but, the last straw. Probably. And so, but now they're softening, right? The liberals are softening. And what, what do yeah. you think that's all about? Is it, is it, are they feeling pressure? Where is this coming yeah, from? Yeah, I mean, I, absolutely. I think that's, this is what's happening. We're seeing it at the CQ uh, and at the liberals where I think after a few months, people have had time to go back into their writings. Uh, they've had time to check their emails and check their voicemails and, 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 and get a feel for where the public is on, on the charter. But I have to say, is it where the public is or is it the people who are just talk, who, who have the louder voices? Like, who, is, it, is it really, is there, is it, is there a palpable change in, in public opinion or are the people who believe in the charter just writing more of these emails and no, reaching out? Uh, I, I, there's, not, there's not a huge change in the, in the support from the charter. I mean, it, it, sort of, it got to a low of about 43% and now it's around 48%. And it does seem to have seem to have gelled around that that fifty that fifty percent mark. I mean, right. it's split. Um, I think the, if the Liberals in the CQ were hoping that, that that would recede a little bit, they're they're noticing now that that's not happening. Positions right now are, are very much staked and frozen where they are, and and there's no. I mean, they're realizing that they can't they can't offhandedly dismiss. 50% of the voters. Right. So we got to get to this. Our, our friend and colleague um, from McLean's, Martin Petrin, was sitting right where you were sitting the other day. We were talking about his, uh, his article that ended up in the New York Times, where he was talking about uh, the PQ, comparing it to the Tea Party. Now, Drainville, uh, um, Drainville has is written back. There's been a, a response now saying that it's not the Tea Party, it's Jeffersonian in its approach, right? <laughs> so a lot of people, it's, people are raising their eyebrows saying, you know, is this really a case of uh, Jeffersonian separation of church and state? Who's taking it too far here, and what does this really mean? This response. Uh, well, I mean, I think I, the, I, I don't think um, Martin's article was was dishonest in in, in any way, and I and, and I think I, I don't think the PQ is correct to, to frame it that way. Um, the the Tea Party headline may have been sort of a, a, a little bit over the top, but I do I do think that there's a it's it's a legitimate point to make. That, that the, the, the idea, this, this sort of conservatism of wanting to bring things back to, to some, some imaginary state of, yes. of, of you know, purity and, and uh, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I, do, I do think that that's, that's a consistent theme between, between what the, the Tea Party is advocating in terms of, of its kind of founder, found, founding father's obsession mm -hmm. and constitutional obsession and what the PQ is doing in terms of saying, uh, you know, we want, we want Quebec to, to sort of to come back to this to this natural state, to this beautiful, you know, uh, state that it was in before before we started allowing uh, ethnic minorities and religious minorities to yeah. run roughshod over yeah. everything. Yeah, well, yeah. There, we could talk about this for another ten years. That's so that means we'll we, have to we, have we you just back. Might we have just to. we just might <laughs> have to. Philippe Gouy, thank you so much for taking the time. We will see you very soon, I am sure. Stay tuned, you guys. You're watching Breakfast Television only on City. Mm -hmm.